like this because we were so late. There was an episode, I will tell you tomorrow, because everybody looking bougie and I'm looking crazy. Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll give you one shot, yeah. I don't want them to know we don't belong. Makeup. I bought this like super orchestra dress, but now look at me. I didn't even do my makeup, it's a mess. Anyway, listen so we went to the bar outside this theater to get some takia because this orchestra, like the seats we got, you're, you're like behind a row, and then like it, the stage is all the way downstairs. So we're a little, <laughs> we're a little bit lit. Okay, okay, bye. bye. Buenos tardes. We are in Merida. This is our ride. Don't mind him. Anyway, so we we got the car at the airport, right? And then we, we were driving. We're now at Uxmal. 20 minutes into this drive, this we, we've called him Helpful Hernandez. This policeman comes up and he's like, stop, get out, right? And then we're like, oh shit, like we've only been driving 20 minutes, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, you went through a red light. And we're like, the way we're so careful, like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I went through a red light. So then we're like using Google, Google Translate, like, what do we do? Like, how, what happens with the ticket, you know? And he's like, you help, it. like, I can help you if you pay me. We were like, ah, okay, it's that time of day. <laughs> and he's like, 1,000. And Graham's like, we only have 500 because we just arrived and he's like okay <laughs> i was like <laughs> literally helpful hernandez was just like he was so smiley as well he's just like yeah the rojo rojo la he would like i was like 20 minutes into this drive shocked and appalled but you know what i respect the game i res i respect the hustle <laughs> i don't i'm not hating on him because you know what do, do what you have to also, Graham has been burnt severely and now look at him. We're going to these ruins and now look at him. This is the only time these white people will lotion themselves. No jokes. But he also doesn't know how to lotion it. Like, I, he just puts in goes like this. It's a mess, man. It's a mess. there for us come on give us your catwalk give us the catwalk so we're just in the midst of the Uxmal or Ushmal tour we're learning so much we feel Ush is like you say like a sh in the Mayan language and I was like I like it anyway Graham has applied sunburn or sun cream three times now I will update at the end of the day. He's really suffering. What do you think of the tour, Graham? It's a good tour. He, like, people don't know Graham. He's like all quiet and interesting, but he's so camera shy. Every time I'm like, let's take a picture, he's angry. <laughs> like, you'll never come back here. You don't know people. Shout out to Graham for driving, because it's not gonna be me. It's not a game. It's not gonna be me driving, and it's on the other side of the road as well. Yeah, man, shakedowns are uh, just part of the game, man. Part of just the game, you know. We're, we're now natural drivers. Roll in with the, the shakedown. In the Yucatan. Pay them off, <laughs> innit? No, Graham's like, next time we get shaken down, yeah, I'm gonna be like, I want your badge number, I want your name, I want your station number. I'm like, like, I can make this easy, yeah? Just take 100, leave. Ah, you're not getting 1,000, you're not getting 500, 100, leave. We're, get, we're getting trapped. Keep here. your badge number. Like just pay the man, just pay the man. But um, yeah, just had lunch from Uxmal, and now we're on to Kabar, Kaba. Kaba. And then, so at the at the uh, Ushmal, there was like a an old ruin where they like used to play basketball or something. <laughs> See, they used to Very play ball, uh, a Mayan ball game. Called and Pulka Pulka. Pulka Pulka. Yeah. Because the sound of the ball hitting off the walls. Pulka Pulka. 
Oh yeah, something like that. So tonight we're going to a game. There's a game every Saturday and it's right next to where we're living. So I will film a little bit of that and uh, we don't get involved. We're going to get drinks. We're going to get lit, a little margarita, mojito, caprianos, or maybe that's uh, Brazilian. But uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned friends. I say friends, I'm talking to myself. Like, don't worry. We have arrived at Kaba. You know, I could be a great tour guide. Just if you gave me the chance, visit Scotland. Just give me the chance. Anyway, I don't normally like, I like coming to ruins and stuff. But see if you don't have a guide, it's kind of like, oh, that's a nice rock. Oh, that, that's a nice tree. That's a nice window from a rock. But um, the previous guy at Oxmoor, Uxmoor, he explained quite a lot about this place. I won't bore you, but uh, I would recommend always getting a guide when you go to like these archaeological site places. I am so full, I can barely talk. We had these um, these these foods. We had these this uh, babes. I literally can't find the word, but anyway, the woman was making them at the restaurant from like she was like sat on a. A small bench and had this big clay pot she was making and I was like I want to get involved babe and she was like no and I was like it's okay I'll just eat it yes look Mr. Cameraman <laughs> it's dead serious wow All right. yeah they saw you the fans saw you <laughs> so I'm not any big archaeological fan or anything like that but it's it's overwhelming how big and how old these things are and just how advanced they were back then and lads you know these Spaniards yeah you know them man the Spain man yeah <laughs> they did a madness in this Mexico they did a madness see you European man hmm. what you did yeah hmm. what you did yeah <laughs> What you did, yeah? <laughs> Shocking. But uh, I would highly recommend you guys come to these ruins, but have someone uh, to explain to you the grandiosity of it all. Pre um, I'll do it in Spanish. Guys, my Spanish is getting sick. You know, it's no longer this kind of nod, draw out like toilet, Psst. or um, water. <laughs> nah, man's on it, man's like agua. Banyo, all of that, on it. Watch this space, I'm on it. Please look at this. Is it that serious? Graham, is it that deep? Good evening, future Holly. It is, I don't even know what day it is anymore, but it's the day, it's the evening of Ushkam, Ushkam, Ushmal, babes. Become cultured, all right? So we are here to watch uh, the Mayan game, Pulka Pok. If it's not the right way, I will, I will put it down in the middle. I'll have you, I'll show you we look, see. <laughs> Guys, I've been through a lot. Let's see if I can do it. Nah, I can't zoom in. Anyway, I've been eating dairy like as if, <laughs> as if it's no problem, but it's beginning to come through in my face it's beginning anyway graham please <laughs> you know what sorry i was too busy you, you know them uh, people watching them youtube couples enjoying, you and, know, it's, <laughs> and it's like and it's like uh, why are you forcing your man to do this like please he, do, he, he doesn't even care like don't worry about his facial expressions i swear he's, i swear he's fine Anyway, so we're here to watch the ancient lion game in this little square. I mean, it doesn't seem to be heating up, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes to go and it's still... I mean, we may actually be waiting on our... It's still empty. We were, at, we were at these ruins and the tour guide said that, that he was talking to us about this game that they used to play thousands of years ago. And every Saturday there's like a show, like a, a match in this square. So we're just kind of sat ready and waiting, but nothing is happening. I might just patch and go get lit. Fucked it. Been sat in the wrong bit. Probably 10 minutes late into the game. So let's see how much we can see. Oh well. 
you've made it to the right place. Uh, it's not yet started, so it's cold. Babe, listen, I'll write down. But apparently, people used to get sacrificed. Like, they're not sure if it was the winner who got sacrificed or the loser who got sacrificed. And it was like, um, sometimes it was like an honor to get sacrificed, so that's why they don't know. But uh, tonight, there will be no sacrifice. But they're burning all this incense, and the African in me is saying, What's that going on? What's going on? Anyway, we're kind of back in the crowd, but I'll try and see if I can get some kind of action for you. So just back from watching the game, I now know the name Pok Ta Pok because of the sound that the ball makes. They were all winners. They were all fantastic. Um, anyway, lads, it is intense. So the game is you hit it with your thigh. So you have to get on the floor if the ball's on the floor. And it's like kind of a Quidditch thing. Anyway, I filmed a little bit if it makes sense. But we're now on the search for churros. So we are got our table right on the street. It's happening. Like I'm actually really enjoying watching people. I don't even mind the rain on the streets. Like with the with the wind and the and the dust and the and the OCD. Like I'm just living, you know, I'm living the life. Good morning, it's day, I don't even know now, um, it's just after 10, we left, or oh, just before 10, we left the house, I just have to say, right, old Graham, back in the day Graham, we'd be waking up at 6 on a holiday, every minute accounted for by force, but now like the African in me has just chilled him out. He's chilled now. We're, yeah, it's it's we're not a good at, thing. We're leaving. We're leaving at ten in the morning. What we don't. What we missed the flamingos. Life, life is sweet. But anyway. Nah, we made mess the flamingos. Ten and minutes then it's all into for nothing, mate. ten minutes into the drive, we've been stopped again by the police. But this time, good cops. They actually asked for a license, and I think the the rental car we have didn't. They didn't give us any plates. It's just like a a little thing at the back of the thing. So I think we're just gonna get stopped. All the time. All the time, like by force. And now I'm just like tense, like all the time. Cause now we know like you have to kind of grease the palm. Small, small, but those guys were good. Anyway, today we're going to the beach and then we're gonna see the flamingos first and then off to the beach, lads. See all this uh, queso cheese in Mexico. My, my, my chicks are looking rounded. Okay, baby, you're looking thick, <laughs> small, pumpkin, chipmunk, thick though, okay, guys, how can, I'm even speechless because I'm a master at I Spy and now Graham's playing I Spy because I, I won two rounds and he goes, yeah, it's, it's everywhere, yeah, I'm giving you a, this 10 minutes into his his turn, he spied dust. Are you mad? Dust. I mean, you nah. Got, you got it. You're disqualified. You got it. <laughs> nah, sorry. Dust. Wait, you spied the hair a minute ago. Yeah, but hair. Look at how big is my hair. Yourself, you're hairy. Like, what's up? It is obvious. You're wearing shorts. It's obvious. Dust. Well, what was the one I did get? I want legit. to report you to your mom. What was the one, legit one I got? Um didn't even get clouds. I'm sorry. No, the one There's... I got, the one I actually legitly won. Oh yeah, mole, yeah. 
mall? Yeah, oh, there was also a small mall on his hand, and that was his first guess. And I'm just like, I give up. And he goes, mall. Nah, it's clearly it obvious. It looks like a freckle. I'm tired. I'm, nah, I'm, I'm you, tired. You've got moles as well, right? I'm tired. We've arrived at the flamingo place. Everything's painted kind of pink everywhere you go. And there's like a whiff of uh, bird poo in the air. But it's, uh, it's all right. It's like bird poo and seaweed, if that makes sense. I'm just hoping that there's actually flamingos on the boat trip and it's not like one flamingo because we're late, it's like midday now. Um, and we didn't check if it's like in season or it's like there's five flamingos after morning time. We just hope for the best. Anyway, I'm fine. Like the sun is shining. I'll be on a boat. Whether there's two flamingos or 25 is good. It's still fine, but uh, hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> Obviously, you know I'm not about to get in there. <laughs> There's definitely a crocodile. Hold <laughs> on. Even if there wasn't a crocodile, I'm not strong enough. You know what I was saying? There's a crocodile in there. I was absolutely just joking. No? But these people are coming in to swim. No jokes. My mama didn't raise me like this, man. I let people do what they have to do, but white people, you do the most. How are you trying to swim with crocodiles? Hey, are you joking? Please. Walking through Merida City. The, the, the square, it's so busy. I don't know if something's happening or if it's just always like hippity happening. It's great. So the reason why my glasses are like this is because I've got a big spot there and I don't want the haters to come for me. So we found this little um, patio restaurant thing and I realized I forgot to rate the flamingo place. So it was really good. We walked in and it was like, smelled a bit like poo in the air. And I was like, it's expected. And then the boat ride started. So it was like half an hour in the boat. So when you go in the boat, it's like you kind of saw some like slight pinks, like pink shadows, like way far away. And then the boat guy just starts to go absolutely different direction. And I'm like, mm, I'm not going to question him. He knows what he's doing. And it was like 20 minutes in and I'm like, channeling the Karen energy to be like can I speak to your manager because <laughs> like why are we not seeing the flamingos like I wasn't sure so the lady was coming I didn't want to embarrass myself uh, where was I uh, yeah so finally we get to the flamingos great worried that it was going to be like four but they were there and he's like they're there every day and probably more come as well <clears throat> it was really good and then on the way back to the to the boat um, I really don't know words to the boat hangar place like he just took a detour in the dock he took a detour into the mangroves but it was like sharp like meh. I remember straight for the woods I was like not it, it was a lot anyway but it was really beautiful I've, I've put a little clip in there or I should anyway I don't know we'll, we'll see what happens but it was good and then in the middle of these mangroves that opens up like a spring thing like clear blue water blue water and it's just like oh you can swim I was like what in the middle of these mangroves like two minutes back in the boat he's like you shouldn't swim here because of crocodiles and now he's like yes go ahead and then I'm just looking around like bare white people in their swim costumes I'm like of course and then I'll put the clip in this crocodile now comes and is sleeping in the clear blue you can swim water I was like, these people, my mom didn't raise me like this. I wish I was adventurous to be like, ooh, un crocodile, 
Let me jump in. Let me let let me swim with the crocodile. You know what, Graham's like, it was small, it might have nipped you, but it was fine, my friend. I didn't see you I didn't see you get in. I didn't I didn't see you get in. I didn't see you get in. What does it call it when it spins about? Oh sorry. A death roll. I would not have First of all, right, this uh, this uh, the, the little boy on the boat, he's, he sees this crocodile, he's like, oh, crocodile, right? And it's like, mass, mass grande. Like, it's quite big. And then Graham's like, it's not that big. It's not that big. Yo, we saw them much bigger in the Philippines. The crocodile farm. It's not that big. <laughs> into the most hippin' and happening restaurant. Hey, Graham wanted a steak, it's going down. It's like a mini club apparently, there's like a DJ who comes on not a Sunday. But um, all of the Mexico's, uh, Merida's hottest couples and hottest teens are out. I don't want to be a creep, but it's happening. Update, 20 minutes, half an hour. Yo, what the fuck is my steak? <laughs> I'm nice. This thing's called soup. I mean, look at my plate. Listen, oh, wait. I've, oh, I've, told them, plate. I've told them to keep my soup because I want it for the steak. It's bomb. But Graham's like, I beg, where's my steak? This is such a terrible angle. Why is my face looking crazy? Okay, that's better. I bet you they can't even hear. Can you hear me? And listen, I think I'm a professional YouTuber, don't you think? Professional. Like Am I gonna boy. be in the trend? <laughs> ah! So, Graham's steak came. I, I don't even know how to show you the length of it. Like, it means I do this. He's fucking huge, mate. Mine's alright. Graham's is a beast. He called the guy and he was like, Excuse me, what is this weight? <laughs> okay, we're back. Graham's steak came. 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 Graham didn't finish his 400, 500 gram steak. And he actually said, Pride aside, that was too much steak. <laughs> Wrecked it. I'm, I'm so full. I feel so ill. But Graham called the Uber for like 20 minutes away. Okay, at 20, like 10. But like, with every step, my stomach's going. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Why did you do it? You know what? I need to just learn to be like, I'm full. It's enough. But I have to push, and I have to push. Until I'm like, nah, next bite, I'm gonna be ill. You know what, babe? Just say no. Like, it's not by force to finish your plate. It's not by force. Your mom's not there. You know what I mean? She's not there. You can you can do adult choice and just say it's enough. You know, and then this constant feeling, every meal by force. Ugh, that's that's too much. Every meal, that's too much. No, it's not by force. So I've learned from today. My eating habits change because I, I feel ill. Can't be. 